Hey there, it's Joel McDonald, author of AdWords for Dummies, as well as the senior strategist at Vitruvian. And I wanted to share the concept of keyword buckets. We talk about that a lot in the book. And the whole idea here is that we want to talk about the concept of grouping keywords into buckets. We see this time and time again. One of the biggest mistakes people make is not being specific enough when matching their ads and their landing pages to their keywords. So, for example, we want you to think about putting your keywords into buckets. So, instead of just thinking of, you know, trying to go for every single click you can get by just bidding on the word uh, supplements and doing broad match and letting Google do all the work, you want to think in terms of ways to market those keywords to women, to men, to kids, to seniors, to people who want white versions of your keywords or purple versions of your keywords or green versions or whatever. So there are tons and tons of ways that you can break your keywords down and be more specific and then put those into buckets. And the whole reason for this is that you want to write ads that match those keywords. So instead of just having one ad that fits every kind of supplement that you sell, you would write ads for keywords or you know for supplements for women and then send them to a specific page that sells supplements for women and likewise you want to group all of your keywords that have to do with men and things that men might be searching for um, you know heart supplements CoQ10 and so on and group those into ads specifically crafted to get men's attention again so the common way people get started and the common reason people fail at AdWords is be because they just do a broad match for supplements and Google finds every variation under the sun uh, having to do with supplements and you've got men, you've got women, you've got seniors, you've got children and all of those people are looking for something different yet you're just dropping them probably to your home page and they're having to poke around so two things are happening the click through on their ads is not as high as it could be because it's not speaking directly to them and the conversion rate once they get to your landing page isn't going to be as high as it possibly could because you're making them do work in order to find what they need and to be quite honest a lot of people when searching on the internet are lazy and they're not going to do that work they'll go to someone else's site that sends them straight to what they want so again back to our supplements example try to think as granularly as possible and go ahead and group those keywords into as many different ad groups as possible and the, the primary thing here is you want to create an ad group for each group of keywords that you can write a specific ad for so you can have dozens if not hundreds or thousands of keywords that all have to do with supplements for men men's supplements supplements for men supplements for older men supplements for men over 40 you get the idea wash rinse and repeat for women wash, rinse, and repeat for heart supplements, and so on and so forth. So now let's take that example and actually look at a real live account and set one up together so you can see exactly how that would be done in AdWords itself. So as promised, here is a live example in an actual AdWords account where we have set up, we have a campaign dedicated just to supplements. And then we have several buckets or ad groups designed specifically for specific niches within that supplement category. So we've got supplements for men, for women, prenatal, children, heart, cholesterol, senior. So as you can see, most people would be tempted to just try to get all the traffic they can for supplements and create one big ad group that has all sorts of different keywords, but you're going to be a lot better off by creating specific ads with uh, specific keywords uh, targeted just at specific parts within or you know specific uh, categories within that broad category so let's drill down and look at this supplements for men ad group here we go you can see we've got uh, all sorts of different keywords that all have to do with supplements for men top 10 supplements for men men's supplements daily supplements fat burning supplements for men for men over 50, men over 40 supplements, recommended supplements for men, 
etc. You get the idea. Use the Google, Google keyword tool, generate exact match terms only, and you can find all, you can let Google find all of these keywords for you too. Then we specifically write an ad for men only. Notice that I've got a complete men's formula. It mentions four men only in the ad and then we send them to a we actually take it a step further and we send them to a landing page so if people type in the this exact phrase supplements for men they will see our ad they will uh, hopefully click on our ad more often than our competitors because we've laser targeted our ad just for them they will click on it and then they'll be taken to a landing page dedicated just to men so as you can see, they don't have to do any work. They click on our ad and they go right to a page that hopefully meets the exact needs that they were looking for. And this is a much better strategy than sending them to your home page, which is what a lot of people do, and forcing them to dig throughout your website and find what they're looking for. This will increase conversion rates uh, once they get to your page. So in addition to incl increasing click-throughs by writing ads targeted at your specific customers, you can increase conversion rates by sending them to specific landing pages that don't make them do any work. They can just hit the buy button and have at it. So um, just for the sake of complete list, completeness, let's go look and, and just see how I differentiated that for women. So same thing. I've got all keywords that have exactly to do with women and I have ads that are targeted at women and then when they click through they won't be taken to a men's landing page they can see that we have a product specifically for them so when you're trying to think of how many different ad groups you should create and so on uh, I've I've heard it said that you know theoretically you would have an ad group for every single keyword. I think that's completely unrealistic. I think you can target women in this case you can target women and have a specific landing page and then target men. That's justification for separating those into different ad groups. In this case we might have a one landing page for women over 50 and then another pa page for women under 50 and break it down even further but that depends on your niche and your search volume and how much trouble it would be to separate those but uh, this this should give you a good idea and if you're struggling for trying to think in different ways in terms of how many ad groups you should create just take a look at your own website just like this I can see that I can create 11 ad groups just from the, my website structure I can look at my competitors and see how they're set up and that can give you ideas of how many different buckets you should be creating for your various keywords the key here is try to think in concepts of buckets don't bucket everything into one just catch-all uh, lazy form of, of keywords where you're just stuffing every single keyword and then dropping them onto your landing page you'll get terrible click-throughs and you'll get terrible conversion rates Obviously, 99.9% .9 of you probably aren't selling supplements, but hopefully this example gives you an idea of what I'm talking about, and you can apply these principles and start getting higher click-through and higher conversion rates for all of your ads once you start implementing this bucketing procedure. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on another video at a later time.